Good morning from Damascus, my very first day in Syria, country number 183. I'm on top of the mountain overlooking Damascus, Syria. It's just amazing. Oh my God. Look at this view, guys. I mean, it's just stunning. The drive here from Beirut was only 75 miles and it's not bad at all, except for the fact that the Syrian officials didn't have my visa number in their system. So it took two stressful hours to convince them that I can get in. But I'm in, and holy crap, this place is not what I expected at all. Damascus is considered as the oldest continuously inhabited city on earth, with evidence of habitation dating back 11,000 years, and walking around the streets of the old city is just magical. Welcome to Syria! Aside from a few police checkpoints, you'd never even know that the country has been in a constant state of war for the last eight years. Damascus is filled with little kids running through the streets and shawarma stands and ice cream shops as busy as can be. We need to push our way to get out. Just like the dozens and dozens of markets. So many people have come up to me on the street with a big smile and just welcoming me into Syria. You're all welcome to Syria. Thank you. It's a sure. beautiful country. You are a beautiful person. Bye bye. And it's almost like everyone likes the camera and it's, it's shocking. See? How are you? <laughs> I'm good, how are you? <laughs> Tamam. Alhamdulillah. My friend and tour guide named Gaida took me to visit one of the world's oldest places of worship, the Umayyad Mosque, which was formerly a church and is one of the most beautiful buildings I've ever seen. It's so beautiful in here. You can just feel the power on these walls. It's just amazing. Then we proceeded to wander into the Azam Palace. Now we're in the beautiful Azam Palace where the governor of Damascus used to live during the Ottoman Empire. As you can probably guess by now, Damascus has so many historical sites to see and we weren't even close to being finished. Our next stop was the Khan Ashad Pasha, which is a 27,000 square foot caravansaray, which used to host traders and merchants coming from Baghdad and around the Middle East. It was like a hotel before modern hotels existed. And believe it or not, this one is older than the USA. After that, we took a stroll through many of the markets in the old city, which was overwhelming to say the least. We're in this like insane traffic jam. I've never seen markets so vibrant, crowded, and delicious. So I can't end the day without getting a delicious shawarma, my favorite Middle Eastern food, and it's right in front of us. Let's see. Oh my god. Oh my god. So good. Honestly, one of the better shawarmas I've had. We ended an amazing day in Damascus at a cafe for some chill time and shisha. Guys, I just want to say that today was amazing around Damascus. The city is so special and it just has a very, very unique charm to it with incredible people, which I think you guys have already seen in today's video and amazing architecture. Look at this view of the whole city behind me. It is fantastic and I am certain that Damascus will be a tourist haven very soon. Once the situation clears up more, everybody will be coming here and the city will thrive just like it used to be. So I can keep on talking about Damascus, but for now I'm gonna stop. Stay tuned for tomorrow for more videos from Syria. Woo. Nice to meet you. Say hi. <laughs> Video? Hi, uh, are you from? Say welcome to Syria. Uh, sure. Hello, welcome to Syria. Hello, Salaf. Hello, Salaf. Hello, welcome. 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 Welcome so much. Thank you so much. Shukran. Shukran, bro. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.